Hi, she was seven. Now, this is going to blow your mind because this video is for all the men. Or, let's just say males, okay? So, I'm going to help y'all out. I know y'all see my videos. And I'm going to help y'all out. I'm going to give you the keys, okay? And what the keys are is the knowledge. I'm going to give you the knowledge on how to become the type of men women want, okay? The, and the type of men women need, okay? Not just want, but need, okay? Um, and if you're up for it, stay tuned because I'm going to talk about it. And, you know, if you're, if you don't care, then still watch so you control, okay? So, guys who want to learn, women like comfort. Let's just get that out the way. Women like comfort. Women are going to naturally go to the man who can provide the most comfort. That's common sense, okay? That's in our nature. We can't help it, okay? That's in us, okay? So, if you're not offering any type of comfort, whether it be emotional comfort, physical comfort, then women are not going to be attracted to you, okay? Um... Also, women like to feel safe with a man. She doesn't want to feel more vulnerable and more exposed and more in danger when she's with a man. It should be the opposite, okay? Um, and a lot of times, you know, we're in modern times now, okay? You know, we don't need, you know, someone uh, to gather and hunt to bring us comfort. We don't need the biggest person to beat up other people for us. Because, you know, there's weapons in their supermarkets now. So now comfort and protection has to come in another form. And that form is very obvious. It is income. It is property. It is, you know, things that are tangible that can be used to further the generations to come. Okay. It is, you know, is my child going to be able to go to a good school? Is my child going to be able to go to college? Will my child live in a safe environment when I decide to have children with this person? Because women aren't just trying to hook up with you for a one night stand um, if they're serious about you. They want to see if you're good husband material and good father material. Therefore, you must be financially stable. So that's key number one, financial stability, okay? If you're not financially stable, please don't try to get seriously involved with a woman because that is when the disappointment sets in, okay? You might attract with your looks and your charm, but eventually that woman is going to want the safety and the comfort that comes with having a lifetime partner and a man, okay? Now, she might work or she might not work, but she still wants to know that, you know, she's, you know, taken care of because that is... Her nature to want comfort okay so key number two that that women want in men the ability the ability to build to create something to be you know to grow they want to see you become someone that they can look up to and brag about okay they they want to brag on you they want to say "Ooh, my man this my man that they don't want to make excuses for you so key number key two women don't want to make excuses for you they want to brag on you so give them something to brag about okay key three key three maintain you must maintain the comfort and her ability to brag on you, okay? You must maintain it. That means you can't come into the relationship strong and this, this, and that, and then lose your job, fall off, lay on the couch, and then expect her to take care of you. That is kind of like, you know, not what women want at all, okay? She doesn't need another child. Um, so, men, I want to suggest some reading material for you guys. Yeah. Think and grow rich. And even if you don't want to grow rich for a woman, grow rich, grow, grow rich for yourself, okay? Because women out here are growing rich, okay? You can too, all right? Here you go. 
This book is good. You can get it at Barnes and Nobles. And there is a passage in here that does talk about how women will increase a man's wealth. And it's very logical and broken down in a very uh, strategic ways. And it is written by a man. Okay. So this book was only $7. I know some of y'all might not have $7, but you might can find it online for free. Okay. There's PDFs on Facebook. I know y'all can figure it out. Okay. So they might even have the audio book if you look for it hard enough. If you can't read okay or you don't like to read okay so this will break it down on how to get paid it changes your thinking okay it has nothing to do with you doing this this and that a lot of people's thinking is what holds them back okay so this book will change your thinking and how to gain success in all areas not just money because in all areas okay now another book i suggest um this is more for the spiritual person like if you're just conscious and spiritual there are laws and certain aspects of life that if you abide by will lead you to success and some of these laws are called universal laws okay universal laws can also be manipulated now if you don't know anything about that go look it up basically the decisions that you make today will affect tomorrow okay if you decide today that you want to be successful and have money and be financially stable and take one step towards it and then the next day, take another step towards it. And then the next day, take another step towards it. Eventually, you're going to arrive at success, okay? Now, if you decide today that you don't care, you're just going to live life and see what happens, or, you know, you're going to wait till tomorrow to do something, then tomorrow, if you don't do it, you're going to wait again. So, in about two years, you're still going to be nowhere, okay? So... The choices that you make today is going to affect the rest of your life. If you sleep with a woman unprotected and have a baby, get mad, can't take care of the baby, get kicked out, have to live with your mom, or we're living with your mom in the first place, that decision that you made to lay down with a woman unprotected now affects the rest of your life. Okay, Ben? We already know that. Women know that. Okay? So think before you act. That's key. However many of someone, I think it's number four. Key four, think before you act. Think, if you do this in five years, what is the possible outcome of this situation? If I sleep with this girl unprotected, in five years, where will I be? What if she gets pregnant? Ask yourself all these questions, okay? And then make the decision. A lot of you guys act without thinking, okay? A lot of you women do too, so... I'm, just, I'm not saying all, I'm not saying most, I'm saying a lot, okay? I know people will hurry up and rush in the comments and why are you saying that about, I'm not saying all, because there are always people who are already there and are successful, so that's not all, obviously. The people that need the info, okay? The people that are not this way, this is who I'm talking to. So, men, women respect financial stability women respect a man who is able to take care of her women will respect and flock to men who they feel safe with do you know um they're not and also these women are the high quality women they're not the low quality women that you don't want anyway these are not the ones who got you know uh what you don't want okay these are the ones that you do want these are the ones who pass you by. These are the ones that ignore you and make fun of you online. These are those type of women, okay? The kind that you can get if you have the keys to success, okay? And I know a lot of men will say, I don't care about these stupid women and what they want. I'm just going to be by myself. But secretly you do, okay? Secretly you do. Um, because men have egos, and we already know. 
But I'm not trying to put you down. I'm trying to help you. Okay? We all know. Even if you do it for yourself. I don't care. You don't even have to ever get married or have a child or uh, spread your seed around the earth. I don't care. Do it for yourself. You know what I'm saying? There's no reason why people should have a mediocre life. When there's information out there. Knowledge out there. Uh, you know, ways to change your thoughts for the better. There's no excuse. There ain't no excuse, okay? Don't tell me there's an excuse. People have read their way out of poverty. Look at all the great leaders. Many of the great leaders and the great men came from poverty. You know? Not, not a lot of them came from mediocrity because once you settle into that mediocrity, you don't care anymore. You have to be hungry. A lot of men do not have hunger for success anymore because it's too easy now because women are too easy. Women, that's what I say. You got to stop giving it up to broke men, okay? You're just not helping them. You're telling them it's okay to be broke, baby. You're going to get it anyway. If women would stop having sex with broke men, there would be no more broke men. Do you understand, ladies? Okay. <laughs> so, do men a favor and don't have sex with broke men, ladies. Why? Because they need motivation, okay? They need motivation. Men, do yourself a favor by stop getting women pregnant and you know you're broke, okay? Don't have unprotected sex if you can't afford to have a child, okay? Just don't do it. Even if you think the chick's not going to get pregnant, what if she does, okay? No. No. If you're poor... You need to invest in condoms, <laughs> maybe even some male birth control, and you need to refrain from sex and, or dating because there is no way that you should even be dating. You should be out there trying to get money, okay? You should not even be dating if you're poor. You need to figure out how to not be poor, okay? You need to figure out how to get to the next level, okay? This is the issue that I have. Why are there so many broke people Men and women. I'm not just talking about men anymore. Why are there so many broke people focused on finding sex, love, or a relationship when they should be seeking self-love from self, success, you know, getting out of their poverty situation? Why, why aren't they focused on that? Because it's a challenge. Anybody could get sex. Anybody could get married. Anybody can lay down and have a baby. But how many people do you know that can actually become successful? Okay? So y'all need to stop being so lazy. Y'all need to focus on what's important. Okay? And what is important is making sure that you have what you need for yourself, your future generations. And if you need to help somebody, you, you, you're able to do it. You know? parents, family members, you know, have enough self-respect to come out of poverty, to come out of mediocrity, move forward in life, not backwards, okay? And I'm telling y'all this because a lot of people will look at my videos and say, oh, oh you talk trash, you talk, well, I'm trying to help y'all now, okay? Read, read. Okay. You see people with nice cars and big houses, money in their bank. I guarantee you, they have knowledge and they know how to get certain things and they have drive and they don't settle. Okay. Do you have drive? Do you settle? Do you, do you accept mediocrity? If you do, then certain women are just not going to like you. And certain women will not respect you and certain women will not even bother with you because there are so many other driven men that have that hunger, that testosterone, that male, uh, mask that masculinity that is very powerful and will never be mediocre, okay? There are some men that are always just going to be successful because of who they are, okay? So thank you guys so much for watching. Thumbs up. I know y'all gonna troll, but I tried to help you. Okay.